What's going on guys, Frankie Dingleberry here. Today I'm just bringing you a video of what is the best video game recording software for PC gamers. Um, I made a video of this in, on, earlier on my channel uh, expressing that Bandicam was the best and I still believe to this day that it's really good, but now I would consider it second best. Um, the one I'm going to uh, suggest to you is actually NVIDIA Shadowplay, so unfortunately you're going to need a NVIDIA card, so if you have AMD, uh, then probably don't bother watching this video and go try out something like Bandicam or screw around with uh, their current software, which is Crimson, uh, for game recording. But uh, yeah, if you have a NVIDIA card, then cool, and continue watching this video. So first we'll just get into uh, some comparisons of uh, the gameplay that I get from this as compared to Bandicam. Uh, so the first one, I'm going to show you some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. This was just recorded from theater, not while I was in game. Um, so the first one is going to be Bandicam. So here, take a look at this. So as you can see, uh, the quality is pretty good, I guess, but you can tell it's 30 frames per second. It's 720p, not the greatest, but um, that was basically all I could do at that time. Now this is with NVIDIA Shadowplay, so check this out. So as you can see, that's full 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is great, and that's something I have not been able to do with Bandicam or any other um, PC game recording software, and I've tried them all, from DX Story, uh, Fraps, I've tried OBS, um, Action, XSplit, um, the Windows Game DVR, Bandicam, of course, I don't know if I just said that, and yeah, I've tried them all because I, I really want to record games, but nothing has given me as great performance as Shadowplay. And the difference between those to this one is actually pretty massive. It's not just a small little difference worth noting. It actually enables me to uh, record full 60 frames per second at 1080p, which is something none of them would do at all. I would still only get maybe 30 to 40 being able to record at 720p. And uh, so as you can see, I'll show you actually another gameplay here. So check this out. As you can see, that's me recording Black Ops 3 on 1080p maximum settings, well that my uh, graphics card allows anyways. So when I play, I get max settings 1080p at about 49 to 55 frames per second, that's usually what I average in zombies here. And uh, when I record with Shadowplay, I don't drop a single frame at all, like it takes, I take no hit for performance one bit. So I'm pretty sure that it uses the GPU as its main source of power as opposed to the CPU, which is obviously the bottleneck of my system. Uh, so yeah, that's a performance that I get while playing and it's the exact same recording. So uh, once again, I definitely recommend NVIDIA Shadowplay. So here I'll show you how to use it. So if you have a NVIDIA card, just go to your task or system tray that's it and then you open your geforce experience and it'll bring you up to this thing right here and uh, if you click on this tab my rig it'll give you all of your specs as, and as you can see these are all mine right here and it'll tell you if you're enabled for shadow play or not so if you're enabled you're good to go if not then well oh well uh, upgrade your gpu if you can and then to adjust the settings of it you just click this thing up here shadow play and then you turn it on and it'll probably be off by default if it's enabled, but turn it on. And uh, I can't show you the settings right now because I'm actually recording with Shadowplay at the moment. So it's like Shadowplayception, but um, if you click audio, then it would allow you to do in-game audio or in-game plus mic, which is what I have it to. Quality could be low, medium, high, or custom. Custom doesn't give you too much uh, customization as it should, but um, so I just choose high because it's as good as the best custom offers. And uh, you can choose shadow play, or this this right here, this is shadow time. So if you have this running, it'll always record automatically however long you choose in the background, so you don't have to really worry about manual recording. I just put mine on manual mode, and uh, you could choose manual or manual with shadow time, or just shadow time, or not at all. And so, um, yeah, so if you go to your settings, which is you click this right here, or you can just go to your preferences and shadow play. These are all the settings that you really get, which kind of sucks, but uh, you can adjust um, where your webcam is. I don't have webcam right now, so otherwise I'd be using it. Um, the status indicator, which would be the recording or not recording thingamajig right there. Uh, so mine's at the top right, and then the FPS counter, which is not recorded into the game. That's just for you to see. And I have mine on the top left here. And a microphone always on, or you can just push to talk, so you have to click a button. And then you get to use your, these are your hotkeys or your shortcuts for whatever, so and in your default save locations for where your videos go. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and um, hopefully you get the chance to try this program out, especially if your computer's uh, low end or medium and uh, you've kind of struggled to record games like me because Shadowplay is definitely worth trying out. Um, give it a chance, because also it's free, so 
but you, the downside is you need a NVIDIA card. You can't do it with AMD, to my knowledge. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. So uh, if you want to see more videos like this or uh, leave a comment down below, anything that you'd want to see me record. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like. And yeah, peace trout, YouTube.